Let's cut to the chase. Life as a man feels absolutely terrible when you're out of shape, broke, unemployed, lonely, incompetent, sexless, and entirely dependent on another person to live. The pressure to succeed and your collection of insecurities just consume your thoughts day and night. And people sense that from you, and they just decide that they don't want to associate with you or have anything to do with you. Women couldn't care less about you, alive or dead, nor do they want to bother themselves acknowledging your insignificant presence. Everything and everyone will go completely south on you and leave you to care for your crippled self on your own. A fucking nobody. That feeling of utter uselessness, worthlessness, and ineptness slowly start to spread their tentacles of darkness and bracing themselves to claim their authority and identity within you. You start to feel that your mere existence is nothing more than a rusty vessel for the world to shit on and ridicule upon. The feeling of despair overwhelms your judgments and puts you in a position of constant self-deprecation. You're not born in a silver spoon family with generational wealth to play with. You're not genetically blessed for aesthetics and athletics. And you're not exceptionally gifted with a gargantuan hippocampus in your brain. It's all unfair. The world is cruel and people are evil. What's the point to keep on living when my existence is only nothing but a wasted effort? Why was I even born? only to live as both a laughingstock and a hindrance to our evolution. Is there absolutely no way I could turn this darkness around? Should I just end this pointless existence of mine? Cause I just feel like I'm more useful or beneficial when I'm dead. Should I just end it right here and now? If any of you gentlemen have that penultimate question currently in mind, the only answer I can give you is, OF COURSE NOT YOU FUCKING BASTARD! Your set of misfortunes all can be undone, and all it takes to start is a simple shift in your attitude and mentality. You will often underestimate the impeccable impact attitude can give into your life. Attitude is everything. It is literally the single most important difference between those who fail and those who prevail. This one very crucial mental shift is what ultimately saved me and most likely many others from taking our own lives. Took me a while to decode it, but this is what I've been wanting you gentlemen to know. Never let a single, significantly bleak and dire moment in your life define the value and worth of your entire existence, as every man's merit is never definitively established within a single, specific moment. They are cumulatively established from all the conquests in his own unique life's voyage. Let me repeat that once more. Never let a single, significantly bleak and dire moment in your life define the value and worth of your entire existence as every man's merit is never definitively established within a single, specific moment. They are cumulatively established from all the conquests in his own unique life's voyage. So never let your current circumstance of being out of shape, broke, and lonely permanently determine the entire scope of your identity within your lifetime, because they only exist in a particular moment within your life, unless you let them become forever. You are not utterly worthless, you are just temporarily redundant. You are not completely useless, you are only briefly dormant. These are not mere hopeful and metaphysical incantations to motivate you or make you feel good about yourself, because we don't do that shit here. These are realistic and objective-driven relics of what is both plausibly and practically possible. You are never utterly worthless or entirely useless. No man is. You are only worthless and useless if you decide to remain so or be so. Because every man in this world has the power to transform himself over time. Every man in this world has potential. And it is your duty to discover that potential and impose them into building the life that you want. The world you are living in is not an idealistic and fantastical wonderland where you can live and enjoy every single ounce of your make-beliefs. This world has its own natural mechanics of operation, and if you do not bend to its will and align them with your own, you will never make the necessary changes to see things for what they are, and you will be forever occupied and bitter about how the world could never be to you. Only the men who willingly submit, concede, and affirm their fates to their misfortunes, who will eventually be forgotten by everyone as both utter and complete failures in this life, because there is only one thing that is worse, much worse than being a loser or a nobody, and that is being a sheer coward to fight against your misfortunes. At least you will have absolutely no regrets and people will respect you enough if you die trying to be a winner, rather than accepting your miserable fate to die a complete loser without fighting back. 
The 300 Spartans were fighting a losing battle against the Persians, but it is they whose sheer courage and determination to stand and fight until the end makes their deed worthy to be echoes of eternity. They never retreat, they never surrender. As long as you are alive, you will always have the chance to be able to make something out of yourself. Let me repeat that one more time. As long as you are alive, you will always have the chance to be able to make something out of yourself. And all it takes is the voracious will of a single man. What is exactly the point to keep on living when life itself has been nothing but constant suffering for you? Well, if you ask me personally, gentlemen, I'd say it's to prove that I am so much more than just a waste of time and effort. Because I know that I am not. And similarly, I know that you are not. Thank you for watching.